Uh, welcome to the official IBU press conference after men's sprint here at the World Championships in Antholz, Antrselva with us gold medalist Alexander Logan of Russia, silver medalist Quentin Fiomaye of France, bronze medalist Martin Foucault of France. Alexander, how important was it today to time the, the race? We saw Johannes starting really fast and then losing his power. Александр, поздравляем вас. Скажите, как, насколько сложно было распределить силы по дистанции грамотно, когда увидели, что Йоханнес бежал очень быстро сегодня? Да я не скажу, что я смотрел, если честно, гонку до этого, поэтому я сатанул с мыслями о том, что надо стрелять только на ноль, тем более, что в Анхольце очень сложно стрельбище даже без ветра, поэтому надо было просто стрелять на ноль. To be honest, I was not thinking that much about the race itself, but uh, mostly focused on my shooting. So I knew that uh, it's a very tricky shooting range here, and I wanted to focus uh, to shoot clean today. Uh, Alexander, you had a very good speed at the beginning of the season, then it went a bit down. Where did you prepare to get your speed back, uh, and how important was it the beep today? Did the tracks got faster with the later beep? Александр, в начале сезона ваша скорость не всегда была высокой, и постепенно вы стали набирать форму. Расскажите, пожалуйста, где вы готовились к чемпионату мира, и когда почувствовали, что стали набирать форму? Да, на самом деле, просто пол, ну, месяц-полтора месяца, которые были осенью мои, они не давали мне полноценно тренироваться, у меня была проблема серьезная с локтем и со спиной, и я, скажем так, нагрузку выполнял не в полном объеме, поэтому... Последний месяц я уже мог выполнять нагрузку в полном объеме, поэтому сейчас, конечно, я рад, что смог быть более готовым к этим стартам, и скорость моя, скажем так, возвращается. Uh, let's start with the uh, preparation to this season, which wasn't entirely perfect to me because of my el uh, old problem with back and uh, elbow. So because of that, I couldn't really work uh, my full um, power. And uh, the last month it went better and better. So at that time of preparation, I could, um, yeah, I could uh, bring my power back. И, Александр, где команда готовилась, где вы готовились, а. и насколько сегодня был важен стартовый номер? А. Ну, мы готовились в Риднау, без заезда домой, я уже дома не был полтора месяца, и ну, это не секрет, мы жили в Шныберге, и хорошо, с хорошей погодой, с хорошим, в принципе, настроением, мы там э, хорошо потренировались. А стартовый номер, не знаю, я думаю, что сегодня все плюс-минус были в одинаковых условиях. Uh, our team uh, were preparing in Ridnown and it was really nice, uh, very nice weather there, so I'm pretty happy about the preparation. Uh, what's about the starting beep? To be honest, I think uh, everyone today was uh, approximately at the same conditions. Can you talk about the importance of teamwork on the last loop uh, and the importance of knowing the split times because you kept up with Canton who put up on just uh, completely crazy last loop. Насколько важно было следовать времени на последнем круге и получать от тренеров отрывы? Честно, я получал информацию и спасибо всей команде, которая помогла выиграть эту медаль. Но вот, вот ходить честно, у меня на последнем круге на 85% времени я просто думал о жене и о дочери, потому что я просто хочу уже к ним, честно. Наверное, из-за этого так у меня и получилось бежать. To be very honest, I was 85% uh, focus uh, on thoughts on my family because I was not at home for one and a half uh, month already and I've been missing them and yeah, the, the whole time I was thinking about them and I guess that gave me the extra power to get these gold medal tonight. Thank you and congratulations. Kenton, it's, it's your third individual medal, one better than last season, first silver. You had an incredible skiing time. Can you just take us through a race and then how you watched the drama evolve behind you? 
I have a lot of emotion during the race. Uh, at the prom, uh, prom shooting, one miss. I know uh, on the sprint uh, you, you can't go on the podium with one miss, and, uh, but I, uh, I stay focused. And after my coach, Amy, you were very fast. And just after the race, I, uh, I crossed the line first, and uh, I uh, saw uh, all the good athletes uh, slower than me on the skis, and I very think about the win. But uh, after I saw the last loop at Alexander, then I am disappointed to, to um, not very far to the win, but uh, happy to this silver medal with uh, one miss on the, on the sprint. That's uh, good for tomorrow. <laughs> and can you tell us how difficult is it to, to get adjusted to this high attitude? You kept your speed even this high on a very, very, very high level. I don't know exactly. Uh, I think we have a very, very good ski today. Uh, the waxmen uh, work very well and also uh, the preparation are very good. Um, yes, I don't know uh, what happened exactly, uh, why I'm uh, the best king today, but uh, I, I feel very well when we, we, we know we can uh, be closer of, of, the, of, the, of the first uh, on the race. And biathlon seems such unforgiving sport when the competition is on. Small mistake, you silver instead of gold. Uh, but tomorrow it's the 20 shooting range, which you like a lot, battle man to man. How do you forget about today and focus until tomorrow? It's less than 24 hours. It's, it's incredibly short time to, to recover. Uh, first time I need to recovery for uh, for tomorrow, but uh, I know I'm sometimes better on the pursuit uh, because I I don't know exactly, but uh, with the uh, the concentration I'm sometimes better on the pursuit. Then uh, yeah, I will want fight hard for the for the gold medal to, tomorrow. Thank you and congratulations. Welcome, uh, Martin. It's your 16th medal at the World Championships. Ten of those are gold. Yet this medal seems quite big for you after the last season. Can you tell us about the importance of today's medal, even if it's only bronze for you? I'm uh, really satisfied, really proud to, to be back on, uh, on this podium after a difficult season and difficult World Champs uh, last year. So I'm just glad uh, and I want to, to enjoy this uh, special feeling today. Of course, it's, uh, it's uh, a podium, but it's a World Champs podium and it makes a big uh, difference to me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad. And you talked in, your, in the last Olympic season when you won the Mustard. You said you love these tracks, but they don't always love you back. So how, what is it about this venue that it's so demanding for most of the athletes? Ah, it's uh, it's high in, in altitude and even if we are practicing a winter sport, we are not so used about competing. Most of the World Cup sites are around uh, 1,000 meters, and this one is much more higher. So even if I grew up in a high altitude, uh, I don't know why my body is uh, struggling to, to adapt quickly, but I'm satisfied with today's competition. And as I told them, I could not expect more. I, I gave my best on, on the shooting range with uh, 10 out of 10, and yeah, I'm just uh, satisfied. In your shooting, in 2020, it's just incredible. It's 98% after today's competition. How do you manage to keep this state of focus for such a long time? Uh, it's uh, difficult to, to give uh, lessons to the other when you are not at this level in December already. So I just try to, to keep uh, focus on what I, I need to, to achieve. For now, I, I think I'm really having the good... Uh, Technical points uh, who are making me good on the shooting range, and I really I can feel them really good. But uh, as biathlon shooting is uh, a thin line, and you can uh, quickly be from uh, one other side to the other. Thank you and congratulations. Welcome. Do we have any more questions? Yeah. So, Marta. Um, there was uh, some criticism against uh, Alexander Loginov today uh, from the Norwegians uh, regarding his uh, EPO past and sentence. Uh, what do Loginov need to do to be accepted again in the Biathlon family? Wow. <coughs> 
You know, each time uh, uh, we speak about doping, anyone expect me to be the one who is uh, speaking loud because anyone knows how uh, powerful uh, this uh, topic is uh, uh, for me and how, how much it hurts me. But to answer your question frankly, without uh, being uh, more stupid than anyone expects me to be, uh, I just say that perhaps sometimes honesty and uh, speaking help people to uh, make step uh, to others. But of course, when you stay silent in front of the guys, in front of the media, when uh, you speak Rus Russian at the press conference, when you speak English and you understand English, it's not helping people to give you back the confidence. And, and that will be all my statement regarding this fact today, because for his defense, and uh, he can attest that I did not make that many times in the past, I think the timing from uh, the Federation was also really bad, uh, having uh, used to go off and uh, slept over cases just uh, before of the World Championships, because uh, we have wonderful World Championships here in Antols, and we should focus only on sport issues. And Alexander, what do you think about the criticism uh, from the Norwegians today? And Mota gave some criticism last year. Um, Александр, um, поступила uh, некоторая критика со стороны норвежских uh, журналистов сегодня. И uh, коллега задал вопрос Мартину Фуркаду о, о том, как Фуркад uh, считает, вы должны себя вести в данной ситуации, чтобы вас вновь начали воспринимать серьезно, чтобы uh, прошлое осталось в прошлом. Uh, на это в основном Мартан ответил, что не хватает э, коммуникации, то есть э, то, что вы не говорите по-английски, конечно, не способствует общению. Э, но также он отметил, что, естественно, мы здесь на прекрасном чемпионате мира, и хотелось бы говорить не о допинге, а о спортивных результатах. И вопрос э, сейчас конкретно к вам. Э, э, как бы вы прокомментировали вот эту критику норвежских коллег? Ну, я не читал, если честно, критику. А по поводу того, что э, коммуникация, я э, говорил уже, что прям я с большим удовольствием, с огромным удовольствием пообщаюсь э, со спортсменами с, там, на тет -а тете с большим удовольствием, и никаких проблем я в этом не вижу. Ну, просто пресс-конференцию, я не президент, чтобы со собирать пресс-конференцию, а пообщаться с, э, с спортсменами, и, и я думаю, что они меня хорошо поймут, я без проблем, без проблем. Let's start with the thing that I actually didn't uh, read or didn't hear about the Norwegian. Uh, They said it directly after, so it's, uh, prob it's probably he didn't then pay attention after his race to those comments. And um, about the communication, coming back to the last year, Alexander is still insisting that he is pretty open to talk and uh, to talk to every athlete, to talk about every topic. Uh, the point is that he is not a president, uh, so he cannot uh, organize the press conference, but he is uh, open to talk at any time. Uh, we have more questions. Uh, Alexander, you don't speak with the media on this championship. Is it, uh, did it really help you to win today? Вы не говорите с журналистами на этом чемпионате, помогло ли вам это сегодня победить? У меня была в прошлом году такая же практика, и я просто посчитал, что так будет комфортнее для меня и для моей головы. Last year I practiced the, the same thing, and uh, this time I again thought it would be pretty good for my head to, to do it like that. We have a question from the gentleman there. Alexandra? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's obviously quite a few people that are doubting you. Can you tell us why we should trust you now? And uh, how many times have you been, been tested this season? Alexander, many of you ask questions today. Скажите, пожалуйста, 
почему мы снова должны вам верить и какое количество допинг-тестов вы прошли в этом сезоне? Я не знаю, у меня сейчас хватит связи, чтобы зайти в эту программу, но я думаю, штук, наверное, 12-16 okay. плюс-минус. Let's try to Где check if I have enough uh, connection to see how many, but 12 to 16 tests for sure. Я любого спортсмена, любого прям с удовольствием сейчас мы наконец-то женой смогли расширить свою жилплощадь, и с большим удовольствием я приглашу любого спортсмена, и хоть 360, сколько, 6 дней в году я готов с ними вот прям вот, вот чуть ли не на соседней кровати, на одной, но просто не поймут, не поймет меня жена. Um, um, lately, me and my wife uh, got a bigger uh, apartment. We are very happy to invite anyone who would like to follow my daily routine <coughs> and uh, to see that uh, what I'm doing is clean. Anybody else? Me. So, thank you for the attention and... Thank you, all three of you.